What is up you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And I've got eight or nine things that I sold on eBay this past weekend, so let's start off today's video by getting all those orders pulled, packed, and shipped out. First item is over here. It was in the J-Bin, but it took me a minute to get it out. This is a broken metal mantle clock. I found this at the Goodwill Bins probably eight or nine months ago. It's It plugs in, but it doesn't work, and the front screen is broken. So I listed it as four parts only, maybe a decorative piece, something to go like on a play, because it's really pretty. Like All this is... I don't know, it feels like cast iron or maybe cast aluminum or something. It, it's definitely uh, pretty substantial and old. Uh, and I got it at the bins, probably paid like three bucks for it. A viewer reached out and offered me $13 plus shipping. I don't even remember what it was listed as, but I just went ahead and accepted it because making like, what, seven or eight dollars after fees and it's a broken clock. So it's not worth a ton. I just thought it it looked too cool to leave it at the bins. You know, this is just such a, an ornate piece. I loved it, and I'm happy that it's going to a new home. This sold to a viewer named Chris from Pensacola, Florida. So, Chris, thanks for your support. I hope you enjoy the clock. Next item is over here in the V bin, and it is a oops, it's a set of camping, I think like camping outdoor plates and stuff. Packware dish set. I got this at Dream Deals on fill a bag day. So it was, I don't know, like 10 cents or so into that, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping this also sold to a viewer named ballard from from B ballard b-a-l-l-a-r-d from charlotte north carolina so ballard thank you so much for your support hope you enjoy mm -hmm. the plates mm -hmm. next time going out is a pair of shoes this is a pair of merrill ortholite like uh i guess like a mary jane style shoe uh, I think I got these at Goodwill for $6.50, and they sold for $28 free shipping. My next sale going out is actually two different pairs of shoes to a viewer named Sue from Fall River, Massachusetts. Shoe, yeah, shoe. Sue bought this pair of New Balance shoes as well as this pair of BOC, uh, like nursing style clog shoes. I paid $6.50 for both of these, and Sue bought both of them for... Let's see, $58.99 plus shipping. So Sue, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that. Uh, you guys are the best. A viewer named Devin from West Jordan, Utah bought a baseball bat. I think it's down here. I think it's this Bruiser, DeMarini Bruiser. Base, uh, softball bat. Let's check it out. Yeah, this is the right one. The, the Bruiser, it was uh, 28, 28 ounces by 34 inches long, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I got this bat at the Goodwill Bins for a dollar. So, Devin, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Next item is down in the U bin, and it's some uh, espresso, espresso, cafe, cafe la rica, cafe la rica espresso. I got a box of this stuff at Dream Deals. I think there was like 20. 12 of these in one box for $6. And then this two pack sold for $13.99 free shipping. And it sold to some viewers of the YouTube channel. This espresso sold to viewers Nick and April from Lynchburg, Virginia. So I hope you guys enjoy the espresso. Thanks for the support. Next item is over here in the Cuban. A pretty interesting find here. This is a uh, dead stock, ugh, get out of here. Dead stock glade scented oil lasting impressions plug in. I got this at Salvation Army a couple weeks ago for. I don't know, like $2.99. I think that's what I paid for it. I just saw that it was new in the package and scanned the barcode and saw that it was selling for like 40 bucks free shipping. So I listed mine for $39.99 free shipping and it sold probably, I think it was only listed three or four days, definitely less than a week. So really nice sale there on something that I feel like if you're not a reseller, you would see this in the thrift store and not think twice about it. But Anytime I see anything like this new in the package, I always, always scan it. I think on Amazon they were going for a little bit more, but I couldn't sell it. So either way, turn in. It was either one ninety nine or two ninety nine. I don't. Let's just say two ninety nine to be to be generous. So two ninety nine into thirty nine ninety nine free shipping is probably gonna. I don't know if it would go first class or not. To be honest with you, because I'm probably gonna pad it because I don't want it. It's not really. Uh, I don't want it to get crushed. So let's say it's going to cost like eight bucks, eight to nine bucks to ship out. So still a pretty good sale on something that I feel like most people would walk right past. Another shoe sale. And this one I am super pumped about. I actually picked up this pair of women's boots at Goodwill probably six or seven months ago. I've had them listed forever. They're made in Italy, size seven and a half. Cute, I guess, <laughs> in my opinion. I thought these would sell really quickly. I think I had them listed originally for $60 free shipping. Uh, and I eventually... 
uh, added shipping on there and lowered the price just to change things up a bit. I uh, paid $8.50 for these. And finally, someone sent me an offer yesterday of $35 plus shipping, and I accepted that thing so fast. Usually with shoes like this that are a good size and good style and you know, I just, I thought these would sell. I thought these would sell a lot faster, but these sat for a while. So definitely happy to accept that offer. 35 bucks plus the buyer pay shipping. And then this next item is pretty interesting. It's a 511 tactical backpack. Come on, come on, get out of there. Come on. Something's stuck. Okay, so I sold this a couple months ago for $89.99 free shipping and it was returned. The buyer received it and claimed it wasn't like big enough for what they needed, even though I included measurements in the listing. But either way, I accepted the return, they sent it back. And once I verified that it was the same bag in the same condition, I relisted it and it automatically relisted at the original price, which was $99 free shipping. I didn't realize that. I was just wanting to relist it for 89 free shipping, but got listed at 99 free shipping. And like two hours later, it sold for full asking price, 99 bucks free shipping so that will the extra ten dollars will help out in the little bit of the shipping i had to eat the first like sending it to the first customer uh, and i got this at crazy cas boys for seven dollars so either way i'm still making a ton of profit on this item even with eating the first shipping to the first buyer i've got all my orders packed up and ready to head to the post office and i'll give you guys the financial breakdown from this past weekend we had a total gross sales amount of 376 dollars and 66 cents we have a few things we have to take out of this obviously starting with our ebay fees which were a total of 47 dollars and eight cents then we have to take out our total shipping costs which was 80 dollars and 75 cents not too bad for the amount of orders we shipped out today and then we have to take out our cost of goods sold. This was $36.59. This is how much I spent on every single item that I sold to in today's video, which is pretty low. I, I don't I think the most expensive thing was maybe the backpack for like seven bucks. Everything was pretty low cost for today. Uh, and we take all that out of our gross sales, we are left with a total net profit of $212.24. Not too bad for a, the regular weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I like to save 25% of this to pay my income taxes, and that'll leave me with $159.18 after all fees, expenses, and taxes are accounted for. Not too bad, I don't, I don't think. What do you guys think? Was it a pretty good weekend or not so great? Okay. I definitely do not need to be sourcing right now. I cannot explain to you guys how much stuff I have in my death pile in my garage that I need to get listed on eBay. My active listings on my eBay store are down to like 260 something, which is just garbage in terms of being a full-time reseller. So I really should be home right now listing stuff, but I just can't help myself. I'm gonna walk into this Goodwill retail clearance center combo unit and see if we can find some cool stuff today. This will probably be the only place I go to source today because I have so much stuff at home, but I wanted to have a little bit of sourcing in today's video. So let's get in here and see what we can find. Okay, so I just found this, uh, oops, just found this Sony, uh, uh, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Anytime I find this stuff, I always look it up. It's $8.49. Look at the model, Sony SLV N750. Uh, one that sold for 52 plus twenty dollars in shipping. Uh, brand new one sold for four fifty. That's pretty good. One with the remote sold for one hundred and twenty free shipping. So for eight ninety four, I'll take a chance on that. And these little kids Air Max shoes. Pretty good condition. Kids shoes are um, four dollars and fifty cents. So I'll take a chance on this. This is an interesting find. It's a Belvedere salon chair. The, like the back kind of bends like that. It's only $11, $10.94. There's the brand, Belvedere. If you look on the eBay, there's like some listed for like four to $600. Not exactly this one. This is basically one that would have like one of those hair dryers behind you, like the big dome thing that would like dry your hair while you're getting it highlighted or permed or whatever. Um, it's a good quality chair, but I just don't have room for it. And I think it would sit on Facebook Marketplace for months before you find some, found somebody interested in it. But $11 is not a bad price to pay, uh, but I think I'll pass today. All right, so I got the VCR and the shoes paid like $12.32 all together. Now I'll head into the outlet over here and see if we can find some other stuff. First thing is a pair of van shoes. I think these are like a kid's, maybe a women's. Um, women's size eight and a half, little black and white high tops. Pretty good condition. 
I'll go ahead and grab this. I'm actually having really good luck with shoes right now. I just found this pair, this like Nike. I don't know if I'm gonna get them, they're kind of dirty, but I've also found all these. This pair of Vans, a pair of Keens in really good condition. This pair of Merrill like sandals. That's the, I found these two. I'm trying to look for the pair, some Nike golf shoes and some little kids, um, whatever those are. I thought they were foam posits, but I don't think they are. So still looking. This is a good bin of shoes and like nobody, nobody even cares. Nobody's here. I'll keep looking. Okay, so I just found all these shoes and I walked up here. And there are a pair of Hunter rain boots just sitting here. They look fine. A little bit of paint, but that should come off. Definitely gonna grab those. I need a bag. And I'll be live. It feels full. It feels like it's never been opened. 125 bucks retail. Something in there. Let's check it out. To open it is just CDs. It's a bunch of CDs. It looks like every slot is filled. So I'm assuming everything is here. Now the question is, is this still worth it? Is somebody willing to pay for CDs right now? Because you can download like the Bible app for totally free and you can listen to the whole Bible on the app for free. So I don't know. Let's look it up and see if it's see if it's selling. Okay, yeah, so not nearly as much as it originally sold for 125 bucks, but 22 free shipping, 25 free shipping, 23 free shipping, 20 free shipping. Well, those are all brand new too. Uh, there's a pre-owned sold for 17 free shipping, so I don't think it's going to be worth picking up today. Uh, not at that. The, this weight is pretty heavy. It'll probably be three or four pounds. So not worth it, but cool find. I did find this though. Sealed pack of Memorex CDs. Never opened. And on Amazon, those are going for like eight to ten dollars free shipping. It'd be super lightweight to pick up here. Probably like 50 cents or so. So I'll go ahead and grab those. Back here. Oh, here's some Adidas. Adidas Bounce golf shoes. So pretty good. Okay, so I, was, I found this golf shoe, this Adidas, or this New, New Balance Minimus golf shoe. I was looking in this bin to try to find a match. And I see some sunglasses down here. There's some more. Oh, look at that. Uh, Oakley, baby. What are these? Oh. American Red Cross. Not quite as valuable. But if these are real, they're ugly, but I'll grab them. I think that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and check out and see what the damage is and get home and get some of this stuff cleaned. One last thing. I just saw this. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons official game adventure night below book three. No barcode or anything like that. And I honestly don't have a ton of time to look it up, but it's going to be super lightweight. It probably costs less than 50 cents. I'll go ahead and grab it. So I spent a total of $24.57 on all that stuff. I have no idea. I don't even know. I parked way over there. I'm so distracted. <laughs> That was a pretty good haul. 24.57 on, I don't know, what, what we get like seven or eight pairs of shoes, the book, the, the DVD, the CD pack and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, it's just, I love the bins, man. Love it, can't beat the prices. I'm home now, so let's take a look at my whole haul I just picked up and see if I can give you guys a pretty accurate representation of how much money I can expect to make selling all this stuff. Everything on the table that we got today cost me a total of $38.01. And let's just start from over here. The pair of Hunter rain boots in really good condition. It says uh, Hunter Original Tall US 8M9F. I don't know what that means, but women's size 8 or 9. I think these will probably sell best on Facebook Marketplace, maybe 40 bucks or so. This pair of Adidas men's golf shoes bounce should clean up very nicely and I feel like I could pretty easily get about 20 to 25 dollars plus shipping on those on either Facebook or eBay. Um, a pair of men's Keens, really big size. They look like it maybe a 11 or 12 or so. Uh, yeah, US men's 12. Really interesting colorway. Those should sell for 25 to 30 I would think plus shipping, especially if I wait until spring or summer to list those. This pair of Merrill's men's leather sandals. They look kind of dingy, but I think with a little bit of uh, maybe some Doc Martens Wonder Basalm to liven up the leather and take some good photos of them. I think these should probably sell for about $20 to $25 plus shipping. We got the women's Vans high tops. That those should sell for maybe $20 plus shipping. Same on these. I, th I don't know if these are these are uh, men's four and a half, women's size six. Nice uh, garnet and black colorway. Those should sell 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping. And then I don't know about the kids' shoes. I was thinking maybe 25 bucks, but I need to look up the exact model number to be sure. Uh, some I was really surprised that like kids 
Nike shoes and like Jordans and things like that. Some like Drew Profit Monsters, he sold a pair of kids Air Air Jordans for like I think they're like sixty or seventy dollars. It was crazy, and they're like toddler shoes. Like I do not understand why people spend so much money on shoes for their kids, but whatever. That's not my problem. So hopefully, hopefully doing well on those. This pair of Oakley sunglasses, I don't know if they're real or not, so I'm just not going to include them in today's numbers. Uh, and then the VCR, I do have to test it, make sure it worked. It turned on in the store, so we'll uh, we'll test it and make sure it works properly. And no remote or manual with it, so I'm thinking we'll probably list it for maybe $60 plus shipping uh, and, and see what happens. So all together, oh, and then the Dungeons & Dragons book, there's one listed for $10, but none sold. So... I don't know it didn't really cost very much money i thought it was pretty cool um but let's say we can get like five bucks for that and then on the cds uh these sell for like 12 10 to 12 dollars free shipping so all in all i think i can get about 200 dollars gross for everything on the table here i think that's pretty conservative uh so we take the 200 dollars gross we take out the 3801 that we spent on everything and that leaves us with 161 dollars and 99 cents in in profit after fees shipping and cost of goods i think it'll take us about three hours i spent maybe 30 to 45 minutes in in goodwill in the bins today buying all this stuff and i think it'll probably take me another two and a half hours to get everything cleaned photographed and listed on ebay and facebook marketplace uh, so three hours of work altogether would leave us with 53 dollars 99 per hour which is pretty good in anybody's book and now of course i could just add all this stuff i got today to my current death pile i'm telling you guys i don't even want to show it to you right now because i just have so much stuff to list luckily when you have a lot of stuff in your death pile, it's easy when you have motivation to list, it's easy to find stuff. Like I can quickly, probably quickly list like 40 or 50 things right now that are clean and ready and prepped to be listed. So once I get that boost of motivation, hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow, I'll knock some of these listings out and see if we can get our eBay store back to over 300 active listings. Obviously I wanna get that even higher, four or 500, but baby steps, baby steps. We'll get there eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I definitely appreciate your time tremendously. If you enjoyed it at all, remember to take two seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, as always, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one.